Okay, fourth and 12. Caught it, but short. All right. I sure did get enough rest over here. I slept pretty good, so uh, more clips coming on. All right. All right. Papi's Pizza. Papi's Pizza. It looks good. It looks good. I'll show you. It's not as greasy as I hoped it'd be. It looks real greasy on the picture of the Google Maps, you know, when they show samples. But I try to get the same one. It's pretty good though. It's pretty good. I'm gonna watch the championship. MSL football soccer, but they call it football most places in the world. Alright. Okay, December 13th. Let's check out the view of the freeway, the other side, I think. A little more scenic. The view of the Motel 6 in the Nice parking lot. No big deal. It's a sunny morning, December 13th. They didn't have a whole lot of this when I was in Seattle for this past year. They did have it. It just, you know, Rite Aid had it. Not too many places. But when I was in California, they had this great deal, amazing deal actually on that. And it's made by, you know, I drink Bud Light anyway, Anheuser-Busch. And this is the same company. I'm not trying to advertise, but this is a, you know, Anheuser-Busch as well. And I thought they'd have a logo somewhere. Yeah, I don't know why I don't have a logo. Usually there's a, oh, right there. Well, it's not a logo, but Anheuser-Busch. I heard it comes from the same fucking can as Bud Light, you know? <laughs> But it was like seven ninety nine in California for fifteen because they gave you an extra three. But this one's only twelve. I thought I was grabbing the fifteen, but it's no big deal. There's a liquor store walking distance from this place, but it's raining, so that's not really walking distance unless you want to get wet. I can sit down on this thing. I can sit down on that thing. Um, as plans go, it's going well. As far as, you know, if I was going to come to California, um, I want to call it a decompression chamber. And I do this with writing, by the way. I do this with writing when I, when I do fiction. Is there's a decompression chamber. <laughs> a mental decompression chamber. And what do I mean by that? Um, scuba divers. When you go very deep into the ocean... You're, you, you, you're, you can't, unless you want to die, you can't go from the surface and instantly go to the, you know, bottom of the ocean or, you know, very deep and vice versa. You can't swim straight up. If you swim straight up, I want to say it's nitrogen, nitrogen or something. There's something that gets in your circulation your blood circulation and it'll kill you so they got this thing called the decompression chamber that if you go down in a pod you go into this decompression chamber and it'll slowly change the pressure around you so your body adjusts to what you're supposed to have and I've used this analogy for writing and other things in life where I'm coming from Seattle and I had good times there. But there were also things, you know, partly because of COVID, I'll repeat that. There were also things where I was like, this is bullshit. This is just, this is just, this is bullshit, man. Uh, you know, I had it at home. I had it in the public. I had it at work. And it's like, what more can you do? What more can you fucking do? You know, I'm working 15 hour days. And you would think, all right, man. Fuckers are going to lay off me because I'm making money, doing my job pretty well, blah, blah, blah. But there's always someone or something. There's always someone or something that, that, that harks on you. No matter how good you're doing. You know? 
And at, at work, not this last job, but the job before this, man, I'm not going to go into detail, but I was there a few months, and most people appreciate me pretty well, but at the end of 15-hour shifts, people get cranky. And there was this one guy that was like, holy shit, man, he, he, he was overly petty. He was, you know, if I had to think back in my 49 years on this planet and think about the top five petty people that I've ever been around, this motherfucker at that job, this motherfucker at that job, man. I mean, sometimes people criticize you for small human mistakes, right? And it's like, okay, man. Hey, we're human. We're human. We make mistakes. But this fucker was criticizing shit that, that, that wasn't even like a mistake. And pretending they were. And I went to my lead one time, you know. But I'm not going to go into detail about that. <laughs> if you work warehouse, I could explain a little more. But, you know, I was working a cherry picker job. And this fucker was complaining about a lip that was out two inches on a very high level. And the top part of the pallet at that. And, you know... It's it's it was just crazy. But it's Sunday and I got my beer. Got my beer for uh, football later. And uh this this is a decompression chamber right here. A mental decompression chamber, this hotel right here. Where you know, uh I came from Seattle and I'm three hours north of uh San Jose, you know. Drive to my sister's at some point in the next few days. And my goal is to remember the good times of Seattle. You know, that's my goal. But it's just human nature. It's just human nature that, you know, to, to, to let the bad times, even if they're 1%, even if it's 1% of what you went through, to let the the bad times uh, weigh on you, you know? So my goal, my goal is to let that, you know, just fade. Just fade that. Just fade that part. And forget the people that were shitty and the times that were shitty. And remember the good times, you know? I had a good times. So, uh... I'm going to open up this thing right here. I'm going to open up this thing right here. This is the free breakfast. I'm at the Ramada end and I got free breakfast. I don't even know what's in there. don't even know what's in there. So I'm going to open it. All right, we got a water. We got an orange. We got oh, some trail mix and fruit snacks. I think he might have been joking, but the, the guy that gave me this, I thought he said pizza. <laughs> he said, all right, here's some pizza. I want to say that was it. But, so, you know, these are the times of COVID. These are the times of COVID, right? Oh, I slept right here, and I slept good, man. I slept straight through without waking up for the restroom. You know, once I finally did get to sleep. So, I'm gonna watch some football, guys. All right, look at this. All right, okay, you guys have a good time. Okay, I'm about, I don't know, 20, 15 miles away from the California border. I'm still in Oregon right here, and uh, wow, snow, snow and ice. I mean, it's not snowing right now, but you can see ice on the roads, right? <laughs> Crazy, huh?